Hello, well, evening guys, you alright? Okay. <laughs> Fuck you too. Um, <laughs> now, cool to be here, man. Lovely to be here. Hope you guys had a good day so far. Um, I spent most of my day um, getting into like social media beefs online, right? So that's what, like, my new little hobby. I have to find like random bellends and just like just wind them up, right? <laughs> and it's, it's easy to do when you're a comedian because uh, they don't get sarcasm, right? They take ev everything for them is like literal, right? The amount of shit I've got into. Just from like being sarcastic online, right? Give a prime example. I remember a few years ago, it was, a, it was October. I remember this, it was the same night that the clocks were going back, right? And I was tweeting away, and uh, I'm a big football fan. So just as a joke, I tweeted, hey guys, remember to put your clocks back one hour. Man United fans, remember to put your clocks back five years, right? <laughs> just a joke, didn't mean nothing by it, just having a laugh. Turns out, Man United fans, Fucking sensitive. <laughs> this one Man United fan just tweets me angled. He goes, yeah, well, uh, I bet your mum wish she could turn the clock back 27 years and tell your dad to pull out. <laughs> it's like, jeez, that's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> he thinks I'm 27. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh. like I, I retweeted it. <laughs> Hashtag flattered. <laughs> Hashtag black don't crack, thank you. Mm. Uh, yeah, man, so many idiots on social media. I said, I, I attract them all. No, I, I attract so many of them, get so many like petty beasts. But I like it, it's fun, you know? Like, do you remember a few years ago when um, Boris Johnson, he, he, he said, um, Muslim women who wear burqas look like bank robbers and letterboxes, right? Yeah, he said that shit. And somehow he's still prime minister, right? Um, yeah, honestly, no. Like, Boris, you know what, sometimes I look at Boris, I'm like, you know what, I fucking miss David Cameron, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, remember, remember David Cameron? That you know, bland white guy, we all took the piss out of him, but now I was like, man, he's a fucking saint, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> he was cool, man, you know, and then the Brexit came, and then he, he, pissed, he pussied out and he pissed off, and then Theresa May turned up like a shit supply teacher, right? And then, <laughs> it's like, oh man, this is awful, things can't get any worse. And then Boris turned up, you know, like a political equivalent of Mr. Bean, right? Just, uh, and listen, I'm not like, I'm not like you know, a liberal lefty, I'm not on a, a Tory bashing. I, I personally believe that all our political parties at the moment are just like different shades of the same shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 no, I genuinely think, right, instead of having one party, we should have like a bit of each party and just go with that, you know? That's what we need, a bit of everything, you know? Like we need a bit of labour, obviously, you know, to look after the people, right? We need a bit of Tories to save money in hard times, you know? Uh, we need the Greens, you know, to, to care for the environment, you know? Uh, we need the SNP, you know, because every group has got an annoying friend, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> sort of whinging about something, so, all right, man, shut up now, shut up. Gosh, we get it, we get it, you're here, you're here, right? No. We even need the Lib Dems. Yes, we do. Because teas and coffees don't make themselves, right? <laughs> Oh, they're bloody good for. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, my point was, Boris Johnson, he made that comment, right? He said, Muslim women who wear burqas look like bank robbers and letterboxes, right? And on social media, there were like Boris fans backing him up, right? And I was getting to like petty beefs with them, right? Because they were saying some dumb stuff. But there's one guy in particular, right? He said, um, he said, yeah, I agree with Boris. We need to ban the burqa because we need to see people's faces in places like banks, Airports and nightclubs. It's like, nightclubs? I mean, banks and airports, all right, if you mean security, I'll give you that. But what nightclubs are you going to, my man? Like, I've been to lots of nightclubs in my time. Have you ever seen someone in a nightclub in a full on burqa, you know? Just... Raving to Beyonce, like, who runs the world? Girls, who runs the world? <laughs> Stupid, man. Uh, by the way, that's no disrespect, you know, to the religion of Islam. I'm not trying to, you know, take the piss out of anyone's religion and stuff. I do realize, you know, religion is a, it's a very, it's a, it's a touchy subject, you know what I mean? People try and tiptoe around it, not to offend people, right? I remember a few years ago, um, one of my good friends, he's a high school teacher, he was doing a, a little, like, celebration day talk for some of his kids, right? And the school, it was local. So it was like, Naif, um, you know, some of the kids, they know who you are, and they're big fans. Would you like to come to the school to help me give a talk to these kids? I was like, yeah, man, it's cool, no problem, right? So um, I get to the school, my mate set a reception to meet me, 
And uh, bear in mind, it was the month of December. Right? As I'm walking to the school, there's posters all over the walls saying stuff like, uh, happy snow festival, enjoy your snow festival, welcome to snow festival. So naturally, I'm intrigued. I'm like, hey, bruv, what's a, what's a snow festival? That's a, is that a new thing. And he goes, nah, that's Christmas, isn't it? I was like, what? He goes, well, because uh, the school is so like, you know, multicultural, different religions, we don't say Christmas in case it causes any offense. And my instant reaction was, fuck off, bruv. Who <laughs> gets offended by the word Christmas? Like, you don't even have to be religious to celebrate Christmas. Everyone celebrates Christmas. Like, it's like, do they do that for every religion to be PC across the board, you know? Like, Christmas, they have snow festival, you know? Diwali, they have it's light time, you know? <laughs> Ramadan, welcome to the Hunger Games, right? <laughs> Just say Ramadan, man. But yeah, people get very touchy when you talk about religion. And I know that because it happens in my life, in my personal life. I'm in, a, I'm in an interfaith relationship, right? Um, I'm a I'm West Indian Christian, right? Um, although, when I say I'm Christian, like, I mean... I believe in God, but I don't go to church because I've got Sky Sports. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm one of those Christians. It's like, it's like, I love you, but I'm not missing Super Sunday, mate. You know what I mean? It's, I pay good money for this. Um, my girlfriend, she's, uh, she's Indian. She's Hindu. All right? And, um, I mean, people always go, how does that work, man? How does that work? And I remember um, I was talking to my uncle, because my uncle is like an older version of me. He's, he's married to a Hindu woman. Right? My aunt's Hindu, right? And I was, I was like, you know, um, uncle, um, just for, you know, for me, for personal advice, how does it work, you know, with the different religions and stuff, you know? How do you make it work? And he gave me the best advice. He was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Look here now. You see me? He's a Christian, right? You see my wife? She Hindu, hmm? I believe in one God. She believe in another. But we both love a good Nando's, you understand? Perry, <laughs> 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 Perry, bring us together, boy. <laughs> But then people go there, people are asking, like, not all the time, but every now and again we get questions, you know, like, it's like hey, how's it working you know, in different religions and you know, cultures and stuff, you know? Is, is it a problem? It's like, no, it's not. At the end of the day, you know, we're humans. You know, we're all the same, we break it down, you know? It's, it's only a problem when I do something fucking stupid and immature, and then it's an issue. That's one thing I've noticed, like, if anything happens, it's always because I've done something immature or inappropriate. Because according to my girlfriend, there's a time and a place and I always choose the wrong time and the wrong place. <laughs> For example, uh, a few years ago, right, we were celebrating our anniversary. Um, I took my girlfriend to, uh, to Bruges, right, to, for a little romantic getaway, you know, because I thought, you know, I've got Groupon, use it. It's right? <laughs> so the end of our holiday, we're flying back from Brussels Airport, right, we're going through security. I go first give my passport over, my boarding pass, so I, I get cleared, I get sent on my way, and then my girlfriend goes up, right? As I said, my girlfriend, she's Indian, right? She gives her passport, her boarding pass, the security officer looks at my girlfriend, looks at her passport, and then he goes, uh, sorry, miss, we're gonna have to do some uh, extra security to validate your passport. So they pull her over to one side. Now, at first, I didn't think anything of it, you know? I know my girlfriend, she's innocent, she's done nothing wrong, it's fine, she'll be back in a minute. But then about five minutes later, I noticed three other people had also been pulled over for extra security, and they also happened to be brown-skinned Asian people like my girlfriend, right? Now, I knew what was happening here, you know? They're all Asian, you know, the world, you know, the, we're living at the moment, and we've got security and all that, and terrorism, all that kind of stuff. I get it, but at the same time, it was like the most blatant piece of racial profiling I've ever seen in my life. Like, if anything, I was offended for my girlfriend. However, as offended as I was, I'm not gonna lie, there was a large part of me that was looking at it thinking, thank fuck it's not black people anymore. <laughs> oh. Moved up the ladder or what? <laughs> so, uh, so while my girlfriend has been ushered away from all security, I was busy high-fiving white people, right? <laughs> apparently, that was inappropriate, apparently. Anyway. You guys have been lovely. It's been a pleasure to come in and chat my shit to you guys. Take care. Stay safe. I've been Evan Kane. See you around. <laughs>